not actually going to do that today. I wanted to spend this time to refocus on all of on all good qualities that Sean has. Like uh Oh you still don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that call for coming to Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you all for coming. First off, I would like to... I kind of said that part already. Um, personally, I would have found it far less nerve-wracking if you all just stayed away. <laughs> now, you may have noticed a pattern in the spotlight. I am using my... In how, in how in the spotlight I'm using my time. Yes, I've decided to do something a bit different and do my best man speech in rhyme. Oh. Oh. First, I'll let you know who I am. My name is Nathan and I'm obviously Sean's best man. I've known Sean for seven years and it was through marshmallows and caramel sauce that he won my heart. Oh. <laughs> when we go shopping, junk would fill, the, fill our cart. Joe doesn't like that. <laughs> I met Joe at a pug fair dog show. It was my dog Jethro that helped create this friendship with his legs and cute yawn, but I don't remember how exactly I met Sean. <laughs> it wasn't lockdown before I came the kid. Through lockdown, it wasn't long before I came the kid. Through lockdown, Joe and Sean have kept me on the grid, unlike Hamilton did to Verstappen, but that's for another day. <laughs> because we're here today to say hip hip hooray. Sean, I don't know how you let us make this happen. Um, now 20 years ago, or 18 or whatever the hell it was I have gone by since that day. Um, and here we all are in Jax to celebrate tonight. Sean was a little nervous earlier when I gave him the suit and told him to hurry, and then said his lunch wasn't going to be a chicken curry. <laughs> As the moment was near and he stood sweating in his shirt, he looked like Chewbacca while filming Star Wars scenes in the desert. <laughs> okay, now I'd like everyone to raise a glass to this wonder wonderful relationship and to another happy 20 years. Joe and Sean. Joe and Sean.